so I'm going to talk about um, my favorite riffs. I'm going to start a, a series. I'm going to start showing some riffs that I only show my students who pay me, and now I'm going to show you guys. And uh, these are just some really killer riffs you may want to consider to throw in your solos, um, just to add style and depth, and um, this is one of them. So let's take a look at it. All right. Uh, oh, and for those of you who watch my video uh, before this one, falling over on this chair in this area, uh, all no guitars were hurt. All guitars are fine, even though I did get cut right here. <laughs> Got some so blood on the studio set. So, uh, all right. So here we go. Let's get started. So on this particular riff, we're in the key V. Okay. Okay. So imagine your first position right here. Now this is one of my favorite things. This is huge for me. Uh, you're, you got your your first position kind of blue scale, or if you're a classical player, 12th position, but basically your first finger is at the 12th fret, you're in your E minor pentatonic, or minor scale, or a pen minor pentatonic with added chromatic, uh, 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 the flat fifth. Okay, so what we're doing is we're kind of combining a lot of those ideas together. So let's get started. Okay, we're using our E note on our second string here, which is our 17th fret on our second string. Okay, and then we'll f follow up with this E note here on our fourth string, 14th fret. Okay, so now here's what we got. So here's the notes in play. We're gonna, on the first string, it's um, uh, uh, 18, 17, 15. Second string is 17, 15. Third string is 17, 16, 15, 14, 12, and then we'll eventually end on this E note here. Okay, so let's look at that. So you're gonna wanna use alternate picking on this first riff. I, mean, I, I just love this, and I've never taught this on YouTube yet, and so I hope you guys use this in solos. I haven't recorded anything with it, so you... <laughs> It's open game, man. So, um, now watch. So I'm going, I'm straight down, I'm going down, up, down, and on this pull off from 17th to 15th, I'm going, okay, and then I'm going a down stroke on the second string, E note, and then back to our G with the up stroke. See, so I'm constantly dit, 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 dit. Okay, so now watch, slow. Okay, so there you got that one. All right, so now, so then after that, so after we go, you know, a million times, whatever, you know, you're out there soloing and, you know, ripping something like that, you can carry it on for a while, like Eric Clapton does. And so, and then after that, so, so when I do this, and then the next one goes, okay, so a bunch of times, and then the second string goes, and then the third string, you go, you do the chromatic thing where you go 17, 16, 15, 14, 12, but we're not gonna go to our root note yet. We're gonna go. Then you're, gonna, you're gonna rock that riff here a little bit. So now watch, I'm gonna play the whole thing slow now, watch. Okay, so, see, everybody makes mistakes. So, so here's what we got on that. Now, the reason why I do it that way, because we have our typical riff up. And kind of pulling off on that G note. And E. So, the reason why I do this is because when I was a kid, I see uh, in the, um, uh, in that movie, uh, oh, I can't believe I can't remember it. But it was put out in 1970. Oh, the song remains the same. In 1977, we as kids went to the midnight matinee. And instead of going like this, instead of Jimmy doing this, he did this. So he skipped that G note. I go, whoa, that's pretty cool. 
And so that's why I came up with this. Okay, so now let's look at that solo, that whole thing. Now watch. Okay, now fast. I don't know, so you stick in those chromatic notes sometimes and it just gets awesome. So there you go. So I'm going to start sharing my favorite riffs with you guys and new riffs coming all the time every week, a couple of videos every week. I'm just really slamming this stuff down and uh, hope you guys are practicing because remember, practice until your fingers hurt and then practice some more.